And welcome back to the week of Who Would Win. And we start off the week with Who Would Win with this one that comes for us from Emmanuel de Jacor. I'm probably butchering that. I apologize. Uh, and you asked the question, and I'm surprised. I was looking through all my suggestions. I'm like, you're the only one who gave me this? I know Static and uh, Cole McGrath have come up before, but I didn't know if they'd come up together more than just this one suggestion. But as far as I could find, yeah. Uh, Static Shock Virgil Hawkins versus... Cole McGrath from the video game series Infamous. Also, they has a comic series. These are both electrical-based individuals. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I, uh, I just recently ate dinner. Um, and they're both electrically powered individuals. Both are actually pretty powerful. Uh, but both also have some different uh, attributes to them as well. Uh, Virgil Hawkins, obviously, if you ever watch Static Stock, you know what happens. And uh, I believe it's South Dakota he's from? Uh, in Dakota. Uh, there is this thing called the Big Bang. What it is, is it's a gas. I can't remember the exact name of it. Quantum gas? Something like that? Quantum formula? It's a gas that basically, anyone who exposed to it, ended up developing, developing metahuman abilities. Virgil Hawkins happened to be exposed to it. He developed the ability to basically manipulate the electrical ma electromagnetic spectrum, allowing him to both do things like magnetism, which allows him to manipulate things like metal, and to a lesser extent, like um, insulated things like wood. Uh, it's more difficult for him to do things like insulators like wood, although rubber is going to be a big problem for him. But he can still, with enough practice, manipulate to some degree. Um, if I set, have electromagnetic sense, since, you know, the electromagnetic fields have kind of like an omni-awareness around him, uh, fly on, uh, fly on like his, um, I can't remember what he called it. He used to do it on, he used to fly on a trash can lid. Now he actually has a, uh, like a, a disc that he basically folds out and flies on. Uh, obviously you create electric, or uh, use electricity, uh, you know, and create massive blasts of electricity. He has an accelerated healing factor thanks to his bang, bang baby physiology and um, uh, healing factor, or healing factor, his, uh, his bang baby physiology and his abilities. It, it gets him quite an impressive healing factor. However, if we remember just the TV show alone, water could be a, can be a problem for him. Like, he had trouble taking showers. He still did it, but he had trouble doing it. Um, sunspots, like things that mess up the electromagnetic spectrum, could affect him but some of his big key weaknesses actually uh his powers can be drained from him uh they can be stolen he's actually not immune to other bang babies uh like like particularly uh, as i'm getting him up right now Vir uh, virgil hawkins again from the dakota verse uh <clears throat> he's one second um he's uh has he has serious problem with insulators like rubber uh, even though eventually, you know, he can, he can move them with enough, um, you know, stress and effort. Power absorption, like I said, his powers had, can actually be stolen from an outside horse, such as a fellow electrokinetic Prometheus, and vulnerability to bang babies, which wouldn't really factor in. Static saucer, that's what it was called. Uh, he also does carry static traps. Normally, static does not really use any weapons and may relies on his electromagnetic powers in battle. However, to defeat particularly uh, formidable opponents, he will employ his static traps, a well-planned uh, use of these powers, uh, of his powers in everyday materials. These static traps were limited only by static's creativity and the preparation time available. Uh, he's also highly intelligent. He does have a tactical analysis to him. Uh, obviously, electrokinesis allows him to, you know, do electrical displays, short out machines, um, he has a mental resistance thanks to his electromagnetic, uh, you know, field and brain. Great, you know, blasts, static sling, uh, static cling, uh, electrical transformation. Um, he is actually able to transfer his entire body into pure electrical energy when he needs to. So he's actually very, static is actually really powerful. Uh, Cole McGrath is obviously the lead in the infamous, uh, video game series. That came out right... Not the exact same time, but that and Prototype were like the two bit. Like, that's the one a lot of people like to talk about. It's like, Cole McGrath versus Prototype. Who's going to win? Um, for the record, um, my money, without having done any previous research. Oh, actually, I have done previous research. My money might be on Alex on that one. Eventually, when I do get to it, because I know people have suggested, I'll give you my legitimate take. But if you want my just quick take on that, probably Alex. He's just too durable and uh, too, has too much regenerative capabilities. Uh, he's a master of parkour, electrokinesis, 
Um, be, and being a latent conduit, which basically it, it, some sort of explosion before the blast, whatever that was. I know I played the demos and like when Best Buy was doing demos for games, I played the demo of this game and it was, it was fun, but I never actually played the game or read the comic. So keep, be easy on me on that. But he has electrokinesis and electromagnetism allowing him, he usually uh, applies it with a hand hand combat and martial arts, allowing him to basically do like, you know, electric pump strikes, all that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, he's skilled at parkour. He's able to, you know, slide on electrical, um, power cords, um, wires, the, the, the works, you know, kind of like what static would originally do in his heyday firing, you know, uh, electrical blasts, things along those lines. Uh, he can also absorb, uh, electrical energy, uh, ele one second, ele electrical, uh, thing words here. He can absorb energy from a power source to fuel his uh, more powerful decks. When he's out of energy, he can only perform minimal actions uh, and attacks. Uh, excuse me. That's not true. No, yeah, I was reading that. He can only perform minimal actions. That also, calls the body reacts to the energy that surrounds him. If energy is as an area, Cole's body will weaken, which makes him more, even more vulnerable, considering that there is nowhere for him to absorb energy, electricity from. He's also weak to large bodies of water, or being submerged in large bodies of water. If um, any water much deeper than his waistline, he will short circuit for as long as he stays in there. However, he can withstand up to neck deep water for up to 30 seconds before he is killed, and is unaffected by small amounts of water, as he's seen he's able to drink water and beer, and is unbothered by puddles and fountains. Although this causes the water to produce a static field, uh, which could be anyone other than coal... Uh, that stands in it. Falling, uh, falling into the middle of the ocean will usually kill him instantly, although he has survived it on one occasion after this confrontation with the beast. Uh, mentioned by Zeke, uh, he is unable to use guns because he ignites the gunpowder, but it's also to his benefit. doesn't really matter in that case. Um, he's got God knows how many attacks. I mean, in later games, he gained not just um, you know, electric... He didn't just have electric he had ionic manipulation... Uh, superhuman physical, uh, physicality, ice manipulation if you went with good karma, napalm manipulation if you went with evil karma. Uh, we will not be looking at him from the second game. We will just be looking at him from the first game. Uh, and uh, in, you know, Well, you know what? To be fair, let's look at him from both games. Let's look at him first from the... Um, he does have a healing factor. He gains a healing factor from the blast. He's able to quickly heal any damage his body takes in seconds due to his body's natural ability to heal from being greatly accelerated. Uh, uh, through the simulation of Cole's or stimulation of Cole's muscle tissue and his immune system when electricity isn't available, Cole's able was rendered impervious to most disease as such as the extremely toxic gases that uh, Kessler's air balloons had released. Even these toxins did not give the user complete control over him, only causing him a lot of pain. Um, so I mean, he's he's a very powerful he's superhuman reflexes. The, the whole works basically. Durability and resistance. So, I mean, who wins in an all right, outright fight between these two? Well, honestly, we don't even really need to look at the um, uh, the infamous two version of him who gains like ice and napalm abilities because I think the answer really lies in the first version of this character. So, if these two meet in combat. How is it going to break down? Well, he unlike both him and Virgil do have electrical resistance being made of electricity, but Virgil's can be messed with. His electrical, like, wavelength can be messed with and altered. Well, enough, like, uh, reverse, like, or negative charges, things along those lines. So, right out the gate, Virgil's the one who actually has to play defense because his natural electrical field can be messed up a lot more easily than Cole's can. And Cole's a lot more resistant, naturally, to electricity than Virgil is. That being said... Virgil clearly has the more, more, um, the larger supply of electricity to go by. He is clearly the larger conduit of energy and can clearly dish it out longer than Cole can. Cole actually needs to draw power from other sources to do his major attacks and charge it up. He only has a set amount in him, whereas Virgil kind of has a near limitless amount thanks to the electromagnetic spectrum. So these guys are probably throwing back attacks for a while. I will say that uh, Cole is probably the better hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, specialist, whereas Virgil's the better tactician. So Cole gets in, delivers a couple good hard shots to Virgil. Virgil, you know, blasts him back. Uh, Cole, though, 
is has the one ability that is severely is a severe hindrance to Virgil because Virgil's energy isn't truly infinite, um, at least to the best of my knowledge, it's not. And that is, um, coal can absorb energy and steal energy, and static is pretty much just filled with electrical energy. He can just steal Virgil's electrical energy and just use it against him. And Virgil is extremely susceptible to such types of attacks. So this, it gets to the point where he just starts stealing Virgil's energy and then just throws it back in his face and just not, and probably either knocks him out, probably doesn't kill him, but knocks him out or does a serious amount of damage to his face. Uh, and I don't mean to his face, I mean just mean as a whole, like, to your face, just, you know, it, it, or he injures Virgil severely. Uh, Virgil would definitely try to put up a good fight, though, absolutely, throwing back electrical damage. But the problem is, again, stems from the fact that he is just more naturally resistant than Virgil is to electrical damage before both their respective power-ups. Afterwards, afterwards, when you add the fact that he was able to generate electricity at this point, it, electricity just isn't going to be doing much against him. And Virgil, Virgil could, like, throw stuff at him, but he's been, he survived massive amounts of damage before from just, you know, uh, physical damage done to him. So while Virgil could definitely try his uh, try and um, maybe trap him up with like a static traps or whatnot, Virgil he's too street smart I, in my opinion. He's uh, also had a lot of experience, you know, avoiding uh, others and avoiding trouble. And he's kind of a natural folly to static in many ways. So my money personally goes on Cole McGrath, but. Let me know what you think. Uh, do, you, do you think different? Do you think Static would just win 100% of the time? Do you think Cole wins 100% of the time? I think it's somewhere in the middle. Uh, let me know in the comments below, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll get to a review of it at some point. Ideas for win, Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, What If, anything you can do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. Hit that bell for notifications. I will see you on Tuesday, so later.